Hi, welcome to video number five of the OpenWire Studio demos. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the auto suggest feature of the component palette, the live preview feature of the OpenWire editor, and the in place property editor feature of the property inspector. Let's get started with the auto suggest feature on the component palette. I'll need a component to demonstrate this. We'll pick, use the signal generator. And now I want to go back to the full component selection, so I'm going to click this button to clear the uh, edit box there in the filter. Okay, now we're back to the full selection. Now what I want to demonstrate is what happens when you click on a component to select it in the editor. If I click, click on signal gen, nothing happens in the component palette and I click on the palette again nothing happens and that's because we're not we don't have the auto suggest feature turned on if you click this wizard hat button here now when we click on the signal generator it's going to change okay so you see that it is auto suggesting components that you're most likely to want to connect to the signal generator these are we refer to these as primary components that are being suggested math components, measurement, and so on. These grayed out ones down here are secondary components that you can still drag on and perhaps connect to the signal generator, but they're not being auto-suggested for you. Now, right now the primary components being suggested are at the top. If I change the sort order, I click the drop-down arrow here and toggle the sort mode, now they're in alphabetical order. The primary components are still highlighted and the secondary components are grayed out, but they're overall in alphabetical order. If we change the order back, now the primaries are all on top. Now, when I expand to tree mode to browse the components using this plus expand button over here, the primary components are in the top of each category and the secondaries are grayed out on down through there. Now if I change the sort order again to alphabetical, now the primary are again uh, highlighted and the secondary components are grayed out, but they're not in alphabetical order. Excuse me, they are in alphabetical order and therefore the, the auto-suggested primary components are scattered more throughout the uh, tree than they are otherwise. Okay, let's put this back to um, uh, non-tree mode there. Again, we're in alphabetical order. Let's put it back to primary at top. And when we deselect our auto, the component, our auto select is off. So that's the auto suggest feature of the component palette. The next feature I want to demonstrate is the live preview feature of the OpenWire editor. We can do that by looking at the signal generator. If we click on this live preview button here, we see the signal that it's going to generate, in this case a sine wave. If we go over to the, select it and come over to the property inspector, we can see that there are numerous types of waves we could pick. I'll pick a triangle here, or a square wave, and so on. We'll put it back to tone. We can change the frequency. Right now it's on 500. We'll change it to, let's say, 100. And you can see it's reflected in the live preview. Let's put it back to 500. Okay, and that's the signal generator. We can do that as well for a number of other components. Let's look at the AVI player. Notice that those were grayed out because I had the signal generator selected. Okay, I'm going to select a video file for this. And now I'm going to click the live preview button. And you see we have our video there. I can click this little play button here and play it. If it's too small to see, we can enlarge it a bit. So there you can see your video preview. Stop that. Let's look at the swirl component that we used in a previous video. Click the live preview. We see a swirl effect. Let's make that a little larger for this demonstration. So you see the swirl effect. If you wanted to see what it's not like, 
or when it's what it's like when it's not swirling when it's disabled we'll come over here to the property inspector and disable the swirl effect you can see that's the original image there Let's make it a little bigger here again and when we enable it will enable the swirl effect okay so you see the live preview there so many of these components you can get a preview at design time of what the output is going to look like at debug time or at runtime so let's collapse these live previews and we're back to our um, three components here in, in the canvas with no preview showing I'm going to go over here and set this back the way it was okay okay the third feature I want to demonstrate is our in place property editors and to do that we'll we'll add an angular gauge here get these out of the way okay and I'm going to connect this gauge to the signal generator but let's get an RMS value in between for the overall level so I'm feeding the signal generator into a, an emitter to get the RMS value and then feeding that to the angular gauge let's debug that you can see that I'm off scale here. We'll, let's see why that is. Let's use the live debugging. Looks like the amplitude of the sine wave is plus or minus 20,000. And coming out of the RMS meter, we have values looks like 14,000 RMS. And you can see our angular gauge, it's maxing out at 100. Obviously, our max is wrong on that component. Let's come over to the property inspector and set the max for that. We know that 20,000 is the amplitude of the sine wave, so let's just set it to 20,000. And you can see now the angle of the gauge is on scale. We've set that property. We're in debug mode right now, so the data are streaming. Again, we can hover over a wire and see what's going through that wire. 14,000, which agrees with what we're seeing on the angle of the gauge there. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the other features uh, in this property inspector in place editing so in, in that case we just set the max at 20,000 but other properties you can do more than just type in a value for instance let's look at the uh, color property here we have color let's expand this now you see an in place color editor for this angular gauge let's change the uh, color let's make it a little yellow there get rid of some blue you see the gauge. Let's put that back. You can see it, if you notice the gauge as I change the color. There, so it's yellow. Now let's make it really yellow. That's the color. Let's make the the hand color come down here at the bottom. We see the hand property. Let's expand that. It has a color as well. Let's make that a little more blue. And let's get rid of the red. So now we have a yellow black ground and a blue hand. Let's look at the caption property. It has an angle property. Right now it's at zero angle. Let's change that a bit. We flipped it over. See, we can spinning the, the angle of the gauge or the caption. Right here is the caption. We changed the angle. Let's put it back to zero. Okay. So those are the in-place property editors. You can not only type property values, but you can use the property editors, whatever is appropriate for that component, uh, in place in the property inspector. Okay, that concludes this demo. Uh, be sure to download and, and check out the preview technology version of the OpenWire Studio. Thank you.